mwandishi wa habari anakana amechelewa sijui kama amepata chai au bado hawajatosheka now but uh, let me take the opportunity to welcome you to this uh, azimio meeting as uh, the leader of minority of Azimio in Parliament has already said uh, this is uh, an important occasion today when we want to unveil our position as Azimio on uh, this issue of the finance bill. I want to first take the opportunity and the privilege to introduce the uh, Azimio Economic Council. Azimio Economic Council is led by uh, Honorable Governor Dritu uh, Muridi. There, we have Deputy Governor Caroline uh, Karugu. We have uh, Honorable. Uh, John Mbadi, who is also chairman of, of ODM, and we have uh, former PS uh, Torome Saitoti, Saitoti Torome. There are other members who uh, are not there today, but uh, we have a, a council that consists of seven members. Uh, they have looked at this uh, bill very extensively and uh, after I've made my remarks today uh, they are going to make a brief presentation to you uh, to enforce what I'm going to say. Now we say that next week the Kenya Kwanza regime will present the highlights of its inaugural budget and revenue raising measures to the National Assembly. As usual, it seeks to amend laws relating to various taxes and duties, such as the Income Tax Act, Value Added Tax Revert Act, Tax Procedures Act, and Excise Duty Act, while proposing new taxes, regulations, and incentives. Today, we lay out our final objection to the revenue raising measures contained in the Financial Bill 2023. We also give final instructions to our members of Parliament, after which, depending on how the Ruto administration behaves, this matter may take a very different turn. Celebrated African writer Chinua Chebe said, and I quote, a disease that has never been seen before cannot be cured with everyday herbs. In the history of budget making in Kenya, no regime has imposed so many and so high taxes on our people in return for nothing except fantasies and fairy tales. This bill is a disease that cannot be cured with everyday herbs. This bill is economic sabotage. If Ruto insists on this bill, this country will go into full recession. This bill requires and must be must get fierce resistance. No sane leader withdraws subsidies on basic goods, then increases taxes on the same goods and salaries of working people, including hawkers. You withdraw uh, subsidies, and then you now add taxes to add insult to injury. 
I will highlight areas of significant concern to us. Then let the Zimio Economic Council take the country through the details. Ruto wants to levy taxes on Chama or merry-go-rounds. Merry-go-rounds are the bankers and lenders of last resort for our mothers and youth, particularly in rural areas and slums. Without offering any services to the Chamas, women groups and trade associations, Ruto has decided they must be paid taxes. This strikes at the heart of women's economy. It kills savings and spreads poverty among an already vulnerable group. At a time, the National Hospital Insurance Fund and the National Social Security Fund are failing.